Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so today we will discuss about web scraping using Python, uh, specifically uh, how to scrape data from uh, a Telegram channel. Uh, and we, we, will, we will just demonstrate how to uh, scrape the data. Uh, the first one is just the, the usual data, the message, the date, etc. And the second one is uh, scraping images uh, from the, the uh, given channel, right? So I will start from the first one. Um, I, I don't know what you guys used before. Um, uh, I, I have sent you um, a GitHub repo that we going to use uh, but before that we need to uh, create uh, or log into telegram so that we can get the api id and api hash and also we going to use uh, our phone right and for that we need to go to um Telegram, uh, what was that? Yeah, let me just click this one. Telegram APIs, if you Google it, uh, you will arrive at this page. Um, and then if you click, uh, is, is my screen visible? Sorry, I was just checking. Is my screen visible? Yes, yes. All right. Uh, so let me just drag this out. So that's coretelegram.org. Uh, under the API section, if you go to Telegram uh, API and TDL lib, uh, and then if you go to get started, uh, you will have uh, create an application or user right. Uh, first, when you try to create an application, it will ask you your phone number and then you will get um, an OTP. And then you use that OTP to um, verify your account. So when you go to create your Telegram application, uh, to obtain an API ID, you need to navigate to um, HTTP uh, mytelegram.org, right? Uh, I believe, uh, okay, now to log in, we need to put our phone number and we use the area code, that's 251, sorry. Two five one nine one one. And then you will get um, a confirmation code. Uh, let me check. Yes, that's me. A verification code. I could have used the, well, let me open the telegram instead of using my phone. It's, it's easier to copy paste the code. So I get this code and then when you sign in, uh, you will have this, right? So you click the API developers tool uh, and then you, you will get this app configuration, which I'm not gonna show you, <laughs> which is fine actually. So there is the API ID and then the API hash. Uh, that, that's what we need, right? You can, uh, th this I created earlier, that's why I'm getting this. But for you, if it's your first time, uh, you need to fill out, I mean, this um, app title, short name for your uh, 
uh, app, etc. And then uh, you will you will arrive at this page. Once we have that, uh, what we will do is uh, we will clone this repo. Uh, I'm gonna show you from the beginning, right? So this is a. Um, all right. Uh, let me let me just open the terminal. Why is okay? And then I'm gonna use the either the HTTP or the SSH. You can just copy it and then you say git clone. I think I've, I've already done this. That's why I'm getting it automatically. If we do that, uh, we will have um, this Telegram uh, tracker, right? So if I cd into it um, to Telegram, uh, I will have uh, the the files so i have the main.py and the most important one is the the config inside the config uh, let me go back uh, or just open it with base code or dot uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, set the configuration right so that's config.ini, uh, we need to put our ID and the API hash and then our phone number, right? Since I already uh, have it here, where is it? I would just simply copy, that's the API ID. Um, what? is happening all right uh and then the hash and then my phone number uh no don't put it in a string it's just um copy paste everything right so plus two, five, one. So you save it and then um, it will it will get, this is, this is the code that we are going to run to script the, the uh, Telegram channel, right? So what we will do is we will simply run Uh, Python main dot pi, uh, and then the 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 Telegram channel Python three, sorry. Uh, main dot pi. Uh, I think this is one of the channels that you going to use for image scraping. Uh, let me just open the. Where is it? I'm going to open the a challenge document so that we can get the exact channel name. That's week seven. So these are uh, the the data that we want to scrape, right? Utilizing the Telegram API or writing a custom script to extract data from public Telegram channels relative to Ethiopia med uh, medical business, use the following. So let's take one of them. For example, the first one, um, that's Doctors ET, right? Doctors ET, that's what we want, only the channel name, right? So uh, here, instead of this one, I will use doctors uh, ET, right? Uh, and then 
if you run it, it's not going to work because we haven't installed the, the requirements. Uh, if you click that, you need to install uh, the Teleton, Pandas, OpenPy XL, uh, et cetera, right? We need these um, modules. So before I run this, sorry, let me install them. And I don't want to mix it with my um, global uh, or default Python. So I'm going to use, I'm going to create a virtual environment, uh, Python 3 minus M um, virtual. I call it TeleNV. Now it's created, as you can see here. And then I will activate it. For Windows, uh, it might be different uh, or, or Mac. So I will say source. Uh, now it's activated, right? Now I can run <coughs> uh, Python 3 main and then the uh, Telegram, dash dash Telegram channel. And then I will use doctors um et so when i run this what will happen is it will create a folder called output and then inside output it will also create a, a folder called data and then the channel name uh, that's how they structure it uh, you can check the code if you want um, uh yeah as you can see this is for uh, reading or creating an output data folder that would be output and then uh, a data and after that we use the the channel name so let me just run it uh oh, oh sorry i didn't still install them i activate the a virtual environment, but I didn't install the requirements.txt. So pips reinstall uh, minus r, uh, install requirements. It will install uh, this package. And then after that, we can run the, the code. Um, I, I hope it's clear. I mean, the steps that we are following. The, the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, go to uh, the uh, Telegram API and then you can create an application. You can call it wherever you want uh, and you will get the API uh, ID and API hash and then use those uh, inside the config file. Once you do that, you can directly install the requirements.txt or you can create a virtual environment uh, for local development, and then you run the, uh, the, the code. So when we do this, oh, sorry, not this one. Let me put it a little bit bigger. Uh, Python 3 main, this one. Now it starts, and then uh, sometimes it, it, it will ask you to enter a code. You, you will get uh, a code uh, on your uh, Telegram. Uh, let me use this one. I think this is the, the code that I just received. I copy that and then paste it. It will start. Um, don't. Th this is this is kind of a bug. It says done, but it, this is not where it stops. There is um, a lot after this one. So as you can see, there is a, a folder called output, uh, and then inside that there is a data, and then that's the channel name, doctors et, right? And other uh, metadata. Uh, collected charts, counters, etc. What we are interested in is 
the the message dot uh, json file the the file that contains the data this is this is another uh, metadata what we need is the the message so if you click that you will have all the data that uh, you want let me just format it and control p json format that that this is the data right and then once you have this uh, you can uh, extract the um, the data that you want from this json file or there is what you call it a uh, data set builder that will extract the, the data and then write it into a CSV format, right? But the, the, this builder.py file uh, might not be, I mean, might not contain all the data that you want. Uh, there might be extra uh, attributes or variables uh, uh, in the CSV, or there might be some uh, attributes or variables that you want to include. So you can modify uh, this uh, function to include um, more data or to remove unwanted ones. For example, I might not want other actions or replies, etc. So you need to, um, I mean, modify this data set builder. But for now, let's just use the default one, right? So if if we look here, uh, that's the output, and then that's the data. Uh, these are some metadata, you can check them out. Uh, our main data for our analysis is this one, right? Uh, so what you can do next is, uh, you will say just Python 3. Uh, it depends and then build uh, dataset.py. So if you run that, it will convert the JSON file into a CSV format. And that would be, uh, which one was it? Uh, collected data, it should be outside. Let me let me see it in the folder. So those, um, I think it's this one. This MSG uh, data. If you open that with Excel, you will have a nicely formatted uh, data which contains a lot of attributes. Uh, some of them might not be necessarily, I mean necessary for your analysis. Uh, yeah, you need to clean and transform them. Um, yeah, that's that's how we get our uh, script at Telegram data. There are different uh, packages that you can use or for uh, downloading uh, different, <coughs> different data. Uh, there is what you call it, uh, telepi, tele, telepity. Um, they, they, there are a lot of uh, packages, right? So in, they, in, in this case, they used uh, what you call it, uh, Teleton, which we're going to use for uh, our custom scraping, for scraping uh, images for scraping images. Uh, is this clear? Um, there is a message. Requirements to take city is in PT in my case. Am I with, really? Um, are, are we looking at the same uh, GitHub repo? Yeah, that's that. Can you check and let me know? You, you just open this, right? And then if you go there, it shouldn't be empty. You, you, you should get this. Um, otherwise, you can install them one by one. When you run it, uh, it will tell you that there is no module uh, Teleton. So 
uh, you should install it using pip uh, or any python package manager that you are using um sorry i was trying to oh freeze <laughs> uh, you freeze the um the package after you are done with everything not at the beginning so at the beginning since you didn't install anything if you freeze it it will empty uh yeah it, it it will be empty any other question is it clear um okay matthews what are the key fields we should extract from the Tegla telegram post for our project considering the vast amount of data set each post contains uh yeah as i said you need to be selective uh and you can accomplish that after getting the ccv data or before getting the ccv data or even uh yeah before you get the the json file i mean you need to um where is it oh you need to understand what this main function does and the, the build data set function does right there there might be some missing uh, variables that you want and um specifically for the challenge document uh all right that's task three expose the collect data um actually this this project is um uh, a data pipeline developing uh, a data pipeline there, there there is no analysis uh, that you can do um but you have to do this right this is uh, using dbt there is what you call it a philosophy uh elt extract load and transform the uh, scra the scraping is the the extract step right you extract the data and then you load it to some uh data warehouse that can be any database like postgres or whatever database you are using and then from that you have to transform the data for uh the um, uh, data scientists right this is uh, a data engineer uh, project that you are developing a data pipeline right so once uh you load the data you need to do transformation that transformation um, might include removing the duplicates handling the missing values all this uh, data cleaning right um and uh, yeah for that you need to use uh, dbt you will have um uh, uh, a tutorial on that right so uh, there is no specific uh, uh attributes that you're going to select it's it's up to you uh, i think all right uh daniel i'm not seeing the github link oh because you joined late that that's why let me let me reshare it again oh thank you nadia um yeah so all right so th this is how you script the telegram uh, data uh, i think you, you guys have already done this before uh, you have used different options like using um npm or not JS, uh, the the code that uh, nati gave you and uh, uh yeah I, i'm not sure what apis or uh custom python codes you used but this is one way of uh, extracting the telegram data 
yes ya desa i am trying to follow you on the i did the scrapping but it's not working it i have been using two-way verification and it is asking you again for password can i share uh, my screen a uh, two-way verification uh yeah sure let me stop mine um i i, I haven't used two-way verification for telegram um let, let's see it <clears throat> uh, first, le le let me see the, the config file. Go to config in it. Uh, okay, so that's you all right. Uh, are those correct? Make sure yes. that they are correct. Yeah. And then, uh, did you install the requirements? Yes. Okay, and then you can run it now. Let's see it. uh what does it say okay uh just go, go to the terminal first let's read what it says go a little bit up uh, what the scroll scroll up go error room coming tomorrow neo Okay, so not uh, sending code. Uh, the, the first one is fine, not authenticated or authorized and sending code, which means you will get um, an OTP and then you enter that. I, I don't know why you're getting that. You didn't think that the wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Python main, Python three main space dash dash telegram. No, dash dash telegram dash channel. And then doctors et. The, not the URL, but you can copy and then you can remove it. Uh, remove, yes, back, back. All right. Now that's fine. You have to enter the OTP now. Uh, okay, M maybe you are using a wrong OTP. Oh. <laughs> uh, refresh it, refresh the Telegram so that you can use you can get the the new one. It it can't be. I mean, when you run it automatically, you will get. You you already used that. refresh that the the telegram this is the new one i think it's arrived now oh okay then if that's true um telegram is having internal issue authenticating restart the authorization uh, no 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 just go back to the terminal let me read it um issue telegram is having internal issue 
authorized error restart the authorization process caused by same code request telegram um I, I i don't know what's happening to uh the, you see at the at the end there is what you call it a two-way verification it's related to that Uh, okay. Uh, I think it's jumping the second verification. I don't know. I, I did before this one, and they, now it's jumping the first, the second verification. Is, is it possible to uh, remove the two-way verification? Maybe yeah. in the um, channel, and then you can try that. Okay, thank you. I will write the letter. Thank you, Yay. Pleasure. Um, okay, if are there any other questions? Uh, oh yeah, Daniel. Yeah, that that's that's one way. Disable the two-step verification on Telegram and then try that. Yeah, good. Um, for the second one. <coughs> uh, in your uh, challenge document, you are asked to scrape uh, images from this one, and those images will be used uh, for identifying um, what objects in, 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 in those images using YOLO, right? You will have um, a tutorial on that. Uh, so let's let's Try that one. I'm gonna close this. And uh, no, don't save it. Uh, for this one, I kind of wrote a custom code. This week seven. Let's open it with this code. All right. Um, so that similarly here i create a virtual environment uh and then this this is the, the, the code that we're going to use right uh we you need to install uh teleton so from that uh, from teleton.sync you import the telegram client and then from the types uh there are different types of for filtering the message and in this case we're going to use the uh, photo filter right so input message filter photos right uh th this one the dot env is for um uh what you call it hiding the 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 keys right so i created a dot env file and i put the api id api hash and my phone number uh and then the API ID, API hash, API phone. Hey, yes. Uh, oh, your no, screen I is missing. Share my screen. So sorry. All right. Uh, now it's visible, right? Yes. All right. So, um, yeah, I, I, I. I created um, a custom a scraping file. And uh, I have a virtual environment to install the dependencies like the uh, Teleton. Uh, so we, 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 we need to import the Telegram client and also the input message filter photos because from the message, uh, we are filtering the photos. Uh, in your uh, scraper data, let me just go here. Output data. Uh, this is a CSV. Mm. Uh, this one. 
control p let me format it uh, you could try from the the script data uh, there is what you call it photo right the 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 attributes or the variables related to the photo are inside the message and then the media and then the photo right uh, there is a file reference and the most important one is the bytes right uh, an image can be represented in different forms right one of them is in bytes you may try to uh, get this byte data and then using uh, pillow uh, an image python library you can try to convert this uh, bytes into uh, a png or a jpg file but i believe that's a long process so that's why i created this uh, image scraper uh, python file uh, so yeah uh, so I, I i have said this and then um a directory to save the image this is telegram image it will create this folder let me delete this one because i already run that code um <clears throat> and then you create uh an object uh called client you can call it whatever you want uh by passing the phone the api id the api hash to the telegram uh client right once you do that uh we write a simple async function called download image we pass the channel uh you can remove this if you want to uh download all the images in that channel right but uh earlier when i ran it it was running perfectly but it takes time so i don't want to uh, wait uh, until it finishes so i try to set um start date and end date and also um, maybe maximum number of uh, images that i want to scrape from that channel right and then uh, this is for if i want to scrape only 100 images uh, I, I i need to count the number of images that i'm downloading and then when that counter is greater than the the max image i want to stop or um if you set this to be null and if you specify the dates from date one up to date two uh, you can scrape all the images that has been uploaded between these dates right uh, so from the client dot iterate images uh, we have the channel and the filter. This one is the most important one, right? From, from the image, we want to filter the photos, right? So, or image, I mean, messages that have photos, that, that's what it means. Uh, this is the image date, uh, because if you, if you directly use image.date, and if you specify the date, uh, in this format, uh, the, the, there will be a clash. Uh, the, so we, we need to make them consistent. So uh, you can set the, uh, the, the date into UTC or um, East African time, but they have to be the same. That, that's for consistency. So the mes messaging date, and then if the start date, that that's when we call the function we pass a start and end date right if we pass a start date and the message date is less than the start date or end date and if we have an end date and message date greater than end date then uh, we can we can continue uh which means we we have to stop right uh i mean go for the next one and this is for the max image if the max image count is greater than that we need to stop or break out the loop right otherwise we download the media the the client object has download media and then from there we have message.photo 
and then we want to give a file name that we want to save it, right? The save directory, we have already specified it like telegram image and then uh, the image ID dot uh, jpg because the image ID, since it's unique, uh, I, I want to save that in that format. Message ID dot jpg or png. Uh, yeah, you, you can you can format this one. It's an empty string, so yeah. Um, so with this client, we just run until complete a download. We call the the download image function, the function that we wrote, right? And then we pass the channel name. Uh, you can make this dynamic if you want. Uh, I can call it channel underscore name. And then you can specify it up here. Channel underscore name equals the channel name, just the channel name. And then you specify a date, uh, start date and end date, and then maximum number of images. Right. Once you have that, you simply run this image dot scraper, right? Um, and then it will scrape the image and it will save it inside the uh, Telegram image folder. So Python three uh, image scraper. You run that. Uh, it it will it will ask you for again for your phone number or token if you have one. Uh, so I will simply say two five one. Um, if it's wrong, it will okay. The phone is invalid. What did I do? Plus two five two five one, not two one five. Okay, plus two five one nine one. I hope it's correct now. And then you will have a code. I think that code is this one. So I copy that, paste it here, and then it will. Um, uh, in this case, I, I, I set the number of images to be 10, right? So it only scrapes 10. But in your case, you you can you can specify uh, if you want to download everything, you can remove those. You can remove those. That will take time. You have to be patient with it. So as you can see, there is uh, a Telegram image folder. If you open that, you will have uh, the ten images that I specify. Right? These are the images, and then you're going to use those images uh, and identify objects in, in, in the image using YOLO. I hope that's clear. If there are any questions, uh, you can ask. So these are the, the 10 images. Are there, uh, I tried to download everything. Uh, all these images has been downloaded. <clears throat> All right. Um, are there any questions? Is it clear? I, I will share the, the code later. And it's it's very easy to understand. Yeah. Questions? Hello, is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. Um, now, if if you have uh, any questions, uh, you can ask on Slack, and I will try to reply there. All right. Um, then have a good evening. Bye.
Okay, bye.